Well, hello, lipstick besties. This is Victoria Lowe, and I'm back with another video, which means three different colors. Today, I'm going to be showing you guys how I made this beautiful metallic lipstick. I made three colors in both metallic matte and metallic satin. I made a red, a pink, this vibrant, beautiful pink. And I also made this beautiful purple with this bronze metallic undertone. It is so beautiful. I cannot wait to share these colors with you guys right in time for Valentine's Day. Stay tuned. Okay, you guys, so first things first, I'm going in with my world famous lipstick base. You can grab it from fairbelovebeauty.com. And then, you guys, I made these three beautiful micas, these three metallic micas. That's what's going to give us these beautiful metallic shades. I started off with a mica and then I kind of customized it to my liking by adding a few lakes. So this recipe, this full recipe as per usual can be found on my Patreon. Shout out to all my patrons. I want to thank you guys so much for your love and support. But yes, you will get the recipe to how I made these micas and also to how I made these lip, how you can make these lipsticks in both a small tester batch, which is what you see me creating now, and a large batch if you so happen to like the color and want to make more colors or more bottles i will have the recipes to both the small batches and the large batches most important thing wear gloves always wear gloves and always 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 wear a mask because we do not want to inhale anything you don't want to we work with powder pigments a lot you guys and i want you guys to be aware that you should never inhale these even when you think it's not in the air it can possibly be so make sure you wear a mask here i am just blending up that first red metallic shade it is so pretty you can already see the metallic reflection from the light i love that and here we are i'm just folding in the pink so that we can avoid the mica floating in the air and just going all over the place so you want to make sure you get a rubber spatula and sweep it back and forth of course with my large batches i use a much larger spatula than this to make it more seamless and effortless but since this is a small tester batch i'm just using a small silicone spatula and as i start to sweep that product back and forth you can see the mica combining with the lipstick base nicely but yes look at that that those were that reflection or <laughs> i don't know the right word for it the sparkle that the mica gives you can see it in that pink and this beautiful purple is so pretty um i love how glittery it is which is going to make up for the metallic undertones in our purple and you can really see that that purple shine coming through as i sweep my spatula back and forth as the base combines with the mica so nicely this is just such a beautiful purple and when it comes to valentine's day usually it's when you think of those be mine candies you you think of like the pastel pink or the red and the pink valentine's it's all red all pink you know pretty colors so i just wanted to throw in this purple which would be so which came out so nice so here i am just swatching um the lipsticks in the, its satin state i haven't quite made them matte yet but i wanted you guys to see the true color and the true shine before i get under the lighting because you know when i get under that lighting it's much lighter but yes the red is like a deep metallic red so pretty i love it it's one of those shades that kind of complements any skin tone and if you think of your favorite red or like a candy apple red with some nice metallic um 
finishes this will be that red i love the way that the mica combined with the lake came, lake came together so well and this is just me swatching it on my arm so you guys can see it up close and if you just so happen to be my complexion you can see how it would look on you but yes that pink look at that that shiny beautiful pink Oh my gosh, you guys, I think I am addicted to Micah's now. You guys know I like the legs more, and that's simply because of the pay color payoff, but the Micah's combined with the legs this time seem to have looks done so well. They have married together so well. So I will most definitely be doing more shades like this, um, creating our own Micah, showing you guys how I come up with my Micah recipes. It's really, really simple and that pink came out so pretty on my arm the pink so far is my favorite you let me know in the comment section what's your favorite i got a little sloppy right here with the purple swatch <laughs> i was trying to get that rectangle so perfect but it was just not working for me <laughs> But you guys see how beautiful this purple is it's more of a it's not as vibrant as the other ones but it is such a beautiful shade i love it and you really see the beauty of it when i swatch it on my arm you see those bronze that bronze mica up the, the, the undertones from that purple mica it's giving like bronze and gold i really love the way that all three of these shades turned out but of course you guys you know i love making some matte lipsticks so i wanted to experiment and see how these lip sh lipstick shades would look with it being a metallic matte now i just recently discovered on pinterest that metallic mattes were even a thing so when i saw that i was like oh yes i definitely have to create my own metallic my own version of some metallic matte shade so of course you guys know right here i'm going in with my holy grail of matte lipsticks which is my kaolin clay and what that's gonna do is absorb all of the oils from the base you always want to be sure that you go in with the same amount of clay that you would as base so equal parts clay to base and as you can see the metallic is still there although it is matte and it is turning into a paste and I'm just going to take my spatula and mix all of these colors together and combine them really well with the kaolin and clay before we add our iso dota cane remix. So to continue mattifying our product, I'm going to be using some Iso Dota Cane Remix, which can be found at my website, www.verivillabeauty.com. And I'm going to be adding the same amount of Iso Dota Cane Remix to each bowl. And then I'm just going to go ahead and blend each bowl out with my hand mixer. And just like that, we are done. And I absolutely love the way both the matte finish came out as well as the satin finish. You guys let me know what's your favorite in the comment section below or which one you will be trying. But yes, I love them both and I am so happy that you guys came by to see and allow me to share my gift with you once again. But yes, I'm just blending this out with my hand mixer and finishing up. colors came out so pretty i love 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 the way they look you know um my light wasn't letting me be great but i'm glad that you guys had the opportunity to see me swatch it on my sheet just so that you can get a true idea of how these colors how vibrant they actually are but i definitely love the way that they came out as always you guys i want to thank you so much 
for coming by and stopping by my channel and i want to thank you so much for always supporting me whether it be by watching the channel commenting subscribing joining me on patreon all of it is contributing to the success of this channel and i so appreciate you guys i love you guys until next time be blessed Thank you.